All right, I ordered a tool bucket from Sitka and I'm gonna break it down real quick because it looks pretty cool. Mostly I'm gonna talk about some of the features and you can look the features up online themselves, but I'm gonna talk about the quality of the features as I'm seeing it. So for example, they advertise that you can hang this from a tree and, and what they don't talk about is there's a really rigid plastic or I, I'm not sure what it's made of, but this isn't going to bend and so this part is legit, right? And uh, just on the top of the pack here, we've got pockets that while it was hanging in the tree, you could access things easily, grunt tubes or, or whatever it was that you were trying to have in there, snack, whatever. Um, this part, so that you can access all the rest of your stuff. It, it looks like you can really organize things well. It's obviously got enough room that you can fit all kinds of stuff in there as far as layers or, uh, or any of your whitetail gadgets that you're wanting and it should all be easy access. I'm also noticing, which is pretty standard with Sitka stuff, that there's no noise, the zippers are quiet, the outside's quiet. This in particular, as opposed to the Fanatic Pack, is, is the smoother skin, which I think for me, uh, hunting whitetails in Illinois is gonna be much better from a, a, a sticker or a beggar's slice point of view. So that part's nice. I can say with, I'm just kind of first really looking at it here so far, but from the pockets, I mean, I've glanced through it before and I've looked at other reviews online before I purchased it. But the pocket situation that you're dealing with as far as organization, it's pretty legit. Uh, water bottles, saws, I'm sure that there's a way to fasten a bow on here. I'm never going to do that, but I'm sure that there's a way to do it. So I had been him hauling around trying to get, uh, trying to, to find a pack that was going to work for me, and I just didn't want to spend the money, didn't want to spend the money. And I got a friends and family discount uh, from a friend. And so I just said, what the heck? And I ordered it. And so far, everything I'm seeing, like I said before, it's legit. This is a strap where I could, I could uh, put a layer on top there. I noticed one of those on the bottom earlier. I will say that there's a lot of crap hanging off of it, right? But after you configure it the way that you want to configure it, I mean, I've had lots of, lots of things like that. If they're modular in the way that this one is, it's going to have a bunch of crap hanging off of it. So once you, uh, once you figure out the way that you want it, you can secure these. Uh, for me, I can pretty much go ahead and put electric tape, uh, black tape on, on these, most of these things and, and get it kind of wrapped up. The back is really rigid, which for a whitetail situation, I think is good. If you want it to hold its shape, hanging on the side of a tree, or I suppose sitting on the ground in a blind. This is gonna have a ton of room. You can use anything, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a $10 bag from Walmart. That's a freebie backpack, a dinosaur backpack for my kids that I used I was I had that last year when I shot that drop time buck. It, it's all about what you have at the time. And sometimes I use a shoulder satchel. The problem is that I, I find that I don't have enough room. Which is why I was trying to find this. And so far, from what I've seen, it is the solution that I was looking for. It's got so much stuff on it, I don't even know what it is. That's a way to make my lid tighter, it looks like. I like it, I like the silent access. I don't have to run any zippers to get inside it. Uh, it could also hang from the tree from this, but. There are pockets everywhere on this thing for all kinds of things. You could probably get lost in it. It's not overly heavy, but we're not taking it anywhere. We're whitetail hunting with it. I put it on when I took it out of the bag and it was comfortable enough. I, I had no, it's got big padding. 
everywhere. I don't have any any complaints at this point. These quick release buckles are nice. If you need to take your layer off the top. I don't so far would recommend. I know it's really, really expensive. Like crazy expensive. I don't know. If you can afford it, I've never had anything from Sitka that I didn't like. Uh, other than it's really pricey, but it's it's nice stuff. You certainly don't need any of it to be as successful at hunting, but if you can afford it and or you get a discount like I did, I don't see anything wrong with it at all.